Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my job shop. Welcome to my channel. My name is Keith and I'm your host. Well, tomorrow I drive up to the machine shop and I pick up the bed for Pearl and all the components that I sent up there to have matched center line, headstock, tailstock, the carriage, the cross slide, and of course the bed. So the last couple of days I've been going like crazy. Lisa helped me paint the floor and then we finished painting up the insides of both of these castings here. So I'm getting ready to set these down and then I'm going to go get the pan and I'm going to get this fit down here. Now, yesterday I went ahead and cleaned all the jacking bolts and then I took and made pads for each of these jacking bolts here to fit down into. I've got those two on that side there. And I'm going to put these here. Now I've been planning out where I want this lathe. And I'm going to be moving the closing over slightly and probably adjusting uh, Buffy slightly but I want I want Pearl to be right here in the front because I actually if I'm running this lathe and I can turn around and I could be running this lathe here um, and it's just a, it's a nice comfortable position also I'm going to be running coolant and, and that kind of thing and I want to be able to walk all the way around this lathe and get to all sides of it. Once I put Buffy in the middle of the floor, that just opened up a Bridgeport mill to be all she can be. I mean, you saw the, the tooling rack I built for the backside. I mean, I even put some things in there that I just like to have handy in the middle of my shop all my rotary burrs for all my pneumatic little grinding tools and everything it is so handy to have them just in a rack right there in the middle of your shop all right that is the best little non-flat spot i have in the shop and we're going to kind of do that with pearl here as well um, i've already put it away but i've already got a uh, spindle attachment to run all my 5c collets on Pearl. Oh, it's a very first brand new uh, D16 um, um, adapted spindle attachment so far. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lower this down onto my pads here. And then I'm going to go ahead and start getting the tray ready to bring in here but i got to take some hole measurements and some straight edge measurements so that i can get this as close as possible before i bring the tray in and set it down in here um, and then we'll manipulate it kind of where we want once we put the tray in it'll be our first fit up of where pearl is going to be setting up on here and then the next thing i'll be doing is reaming out the holes and stuff like that because i want to go ahead and of course when the bed gets here we got to paint it and stuff so it's going to be a little while but i want to go ahead and be able to get around here get in here and play with the adjustment the motor and all of that and by taking the old motor and the new motor and setting it up i'm going to be able to set it up so that i can put it together before we even get belts strung up on here because i will know exactly where that was and it'll be going back in the exact same spot as far as the pulley location all right
bending down okay. and save it. Okay. okay. Going straight past the curtain. Yep. yep. Right into the. Okay. Into the right, bay. Into the, right into the bay, up closer to the part, and then we'll bring it up. If you want to utilize that wheel well so it doesn't want to flip. So if you want to go right up against it. See that big grinder going when you finally get it all situated and we'll give you a buzz. We uh, that'll be a nice come up little visit. The problem is that you come up a nightmare getting some components. Just, yeah. just for some of the wires for the servo motors, yeah. you're giving me a delivery of end of March now. Yeah. I mean Yeah. yeah. And when I first contacted you you thought you'd be operating by I thought I was gonna be able to push the button yeah. to check the low voltage by uh by end of January. Yeah. I guess uh, just not. So do you have to do much to the underside of? No, I just I gotta do just all we have to do is scrape it in a little bit. Yeah. To bring her in to yeah. both alignments. Yeah. And then you rework the tail stock. Yeah. To meet up with evidence. So that way the center height of this and the yeah. center height of the tail stock match up. Yeah. Because it doesn't matter the cross slide and then that yeah. just put out pretty well. Awesome. All right, we're gonna come forward. Okay. But you got a machine tool that even if you even if you spent by the time you all said and done a certain value that you think is a little high. This is you got a piece of machine. You got a okay. That's everything's yours. Just okay. have you sign that. Okay. All right. Uh, well, you know what happens? That by the time you're all done, it's a piece of machine tool and a piece of artwork also. Exactly.
That's running out of ink. Blankets, uh, wool blankets in these conferences. Uh -huh. And this is what they call the pull. I guess you should get all the wool ready for processing. So, yeah. Uh, a textile plant. Pretty much, yeah. What? I'm watching paint dry. <laughs> uh, this is Sunday, and of course we we went up and picked up all Pearl's components there on Monday, and we had a busy week of work, and it wasn't until um, yesterday I was actually able to uh, get some cleaning up and start the masking and priming of the, the bed itself. Um, so I flipped it right side up um, I did all the bottom first uh, so that I could get getting down into the nooks and crannies of a lathe with a paintbrush a, a little foam roller whatever it's um it's a pretty good challenge but you need to have it 180 and then 180 again and um, so we got two coats uh, in some areas along the sides and we got one good coat on the top and bottom and and uh, slapped in a little bit uh, in the center area from both sides and uh, it almost got a double coat in some of those areas in there as well so I'm gonna let this dry and then we'll grab the forklift and we're gonna take it outside and we're gonna do one last sanding um, and then we'll do a flip it upside down we'll do a, a quick touch of uh, primer just before uh, we do the first coat of gray and then we'll put a second coat of gray on and we're going to flip her back over and then we'll have it right side up uh, from that point there we could finish the paint job on the blocks here or we could mount it up on the pedestal and the bed and just kind of put papers around where we want to and we could paint it up there in place who knows we might even do that because I'm just getting Yancey to actually get this component together with what we've already started here we have a lot of other things to do but we're keeping going on the progress and as soon as this is mounted up on here there's that floor area opened up again so we're real we're real pleased with the job that Mechanics Machine Works did for us on bringing Pearl back to standards as close or maybe even better than it was originally. And I have all the components and everything, and I'm not going to get into showing you all of them right now. They are sending me uh, video footage of all the different processes that they went through and I want to bring those into my video series as I'm bringing these components together in the assembly of Pearl all right so they're uh, they're everything is a hundred percent done uh, except for my cross slide I mean uh, my compound the cross slides done the carriage is done and the bed is completely reground. Here coming lately, this whole this whole year so far, we've been actually kind of talking about a toolbox giveaway. And I had something come up here and I'm actually doing a lathe mill and toolbox giveaway all right the pearl going together is going to relieve me of the rotlin as far as accuracy and everything it's not gonna let me have metric capabilities but 
I have had the majority of my <laughs> career not worrying about metric threading or single pointing metric threads. Um, so that's not the end of the world to me. Um, but I have, um, I have a uh, deep feeling in my heart and I have um, a mini machine shop that I'm going to be sending out. So we're going to be uh, keeping you up with uh, what's in your shop giveaway. And that series will start here soon because I got to actually start getting... Uh, the Rotland ready and the mill is a small closing with a number uh, M2 call it spindle very nice machine I used to have it in my shop and then it had uh, sold to one of our friends and through the friendship and everything else uh, and a passing on of the owner we've we've got that back in our hands and we're gonna pass it on again um, of course the Rutland was given to me by uh, John Peters, uh, and um, and the mill was a uh, a mill that I brought from California, and uh, the, bo it, both of them are are excellent pieces of equipment, and I get them cleaned up, and then we're going to be going through our toolboxes once again, and we're going to be putting together a toolbox package to go along. So there's a mini machine shop. Uh, that we're going to be giving away. All right, I just want to conclude. So we got to see this put together or assembled where it's at right now. Uh, you got to see some footage of us picking up the parts at, at uh, Mechanics Machine Works. And you get to see a coat of primer on Pearl here. So she's looking pretty. All right, until next time, get her done.